I'll be unboxing my Kokomi cosplay from Genshin Impact. I bought it from Doki Doki Cosplay. I have not bought anything from them yet, and I'm really excited to see the quality. I've had a very chaotic weekend, so I have not actually unbox the cosplay and I've had it sitting around for about five days now. <laughs> I know it sounds really horrible for how expensive cosplay is to just leave it in the bag, but I wanted to save it for you guys in a video and I figured, you know, I would regret it if I took it out too soon. So I actually just finished a hackathon yesterday, which I won't go into detail. Uh, I'm, I studied computer science and it's basically in 24 hours you do a big project on a team and I have not slept more than two hours in a couple days so <laughs> I'm also very sleep deprived right now so this is the bigger bag it comes in it looks really cute let's start with whatever's in here nothing <laughs> absolutely nothing was in there um so let's just go on to whatever is next so it looks like the majority of the costumes in here. The thing that I find really lovely about this is that they actually give like a little guide to all the pieces in the cosplay. Like I said, this is my first time ordering from Doki Doki, so I don't know what they consistently do, but so far I really enjoy that because that's something that I haven't seen a brand do previously. Yep. There we go. Oh my god, I'm already so impressed. Okay, okay, this is gonna seem, this is gonna seem so like weird and ridiculous. Okay, but look, ready? If you have watched any of my previous videos, you will know. What is that? That is a snap! You know what I love about that? I hate Velcro! Like, with a passion, and almost every cosplay company, when they send you stuff, it always has Velcros, and Velcros come off, they fall apart, everything gets caught in Velcro, you absolutely can't wash it, and, uh, well, you know, like, with other stuff, you have to be really careful with it. And, like, there's so- I, I don't like buttons either, because it's so much work to put on and off of yourself. And this is gorgeous! <laughs> okay, so this seems to be the main piece. I can... This is the inside out, okay. These are like her leg things. And I like how thick these are for the straps, because often, often these things that are like four clear straps to make something look strapless actually just fall apart really fast because they're made really cheaply. Um, and... There's more snaps! Oh my god, guys, I love snaps so much. They're like my favorite way of um, closures besides zippers. Like zippers and snaps, if everything was zippers and snaps, like life would be great. So next up, we have her lovely little bow. It's gorgeous. Guys, look at how glittery the fabric is. I'm gonna focus the camera. Look at how beautiful and glittery. gonna be honest like I don't know why I wasn't buying cosplays from this place all along. like I have been disappointed time and time again by Genshin cosplays and like it almost makes me want to go and like remake some of the reviews I made in the past because at the time I was like wow this is amazing quality I can never make this and I took a costume design class at my college and ever since then I feel like I've been such a snob after learning so much about the actual like design of these things. It is definitely hair wash day. My hair is so greasy. Um, and I've like learned so much from this and like I'm just seeing like a difference in quality and this is really good quality. So like I have not seen a cosplay of Genshin and Genshin cosplays are like I'm terrified to make them. They have such like strange details. They're gorgeous but I'm terrified of the details. Everything else is a snap. Like there's two buttons here for example to keep it sturdy. A lot of companies would not do that. A lot of companies would just leave you with this in the middle and then what you're left with is all day at the con it slides. And it's not fun because then you look back at your photos and you're like oh let me go look at that Genshin group photo that I took it must be super cute and you look and you're like oh my god my bow is crooked why did nobody tell me my bow is crooked that's awful why did nobody tell me um and because there's two buttons here your bow will not be crooked so you'll look back at photos and go wow this is gorgeous so I have no clue where this goes but it is beautiful and I love it but I'm gonna point out on the inside here Look at these. They actually put darts on the inside. I do not think I own a single store-bought cosplay that has darts on the ends. That is really disappointing, but like when you sew a costume for yourself, you like 
make it nicely tailored so it fits your curves, it fits whatever, like we're human, we aren't like straight lines, you know? Um, and I actually really respect that, that looks really nice. This cosplay is making me so happy, like I want to wear it right away, but I should not do that on two hours of sleep because I think I'm going to like do my makeup and then just go to bed. Also, I have a, I have a midterm tomorrow, so I, I, I think it would be more intelligent for my last semester of college to study today instead of cosplay. We're making adult decisions here. Oh, I was not prepared for that. Guys, there's... There's no battery in here? But... <laughs> you molly! This like didn't even cost that much more than like a different brand would have cost. Like, okay, don't mind me. Um, if you guys don't know, this is like lighting. They, like, they legitimately put lighting into the vision so it will glow around the edge. There's no battery in right now and I don't own the battery for it. That is insane. Ooh. It came with the good bobby pins, the one with the squiggles, the ones with the squiggles on the side. They're like whatever Tartop Taglia has too. But they're not. They're like finger, finger coverings. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. Feels like something you'd wear in a lab. Wow, this rope is so nice that they used too. And so soft. Like, these are actually full. Was I, like, buying cosplay before this? Guys, this, like, I'm gonna become such a snob. I'm so spoiled now. Like, <laughs> I feel so spoiled by this costume. These, guys, these literally have, like, jewelry clasps on them. Like, somebody took the time, instead of just adding some, like, pins to this and whatever, to, like, literally like necklace clasps and these are actually really nice too they're like embroidered and look how shiny they are so something that i first thought when i went into kokomi's island saying no no mia <laughs> i don't know what to call it um was it looks like a barbie princess movie you know like i don't know if any of you guys grew up with like the whole like the, the barbie and the three musketeers or like the Barbie, like, you know, Nutcracker, or Swan Lake, or whatever it was, and, like, Mariposa, and, like, all these, like, Barbie movies that had these beautiful, like, sea, like, pearl, fairy aesthetics, and, like, the first thing, the reason I fell in love with Kokomi, and, like, that whole area of Genshin was, I genuinely thought, this looks like a Barbie movie, but this is nice, like, like, this is, like, really thick plastic, and this is a really thick material. Like, I'm actually pretty amazed how they did this. I am thoroughly impressed. So, let's try it on. I ordered a medium. I'm really glad I ordered a medium, because that's what it said to on their website. But I think I could have actually gone with a large. I don't really know who their sizing is meant for. Um because I'm between a small and sometimes even an extra small. Uh, <laughs> so if I'm a large, I know in Asia women are like really tiny though, so it might be different. But I, um, I'm definitely gonna have to do some alter alterations. It's great quality, but definitely, I might even go with like an extra large. Um, this, if I clip these in the way it's supposed to be, it doesn't, I can't move my shoulders at all. And also like, the padding is supposed to be here and it's like it's like at the bottom of my rib cage <laughs> so um it's definitely not like quite fitting properly i can fit th fix that with like alterations but um i know a lot of people cannot do that besides that everything's really good quality i really like it i love the quality of like the details especially so i'm really i'm really glad i bought this and i i definitely think i will be shopping from doki doki in the future especially with ordering larges instead of mediums. Um, I adore the quality of their costumes. Um, just sizing is like, it's never been something I've had an issue with either. So 
Um, that would be like the only, only complaint I have, but like I absolutely love the costume. And honestly, like the only things I would need to fix are like little tiny readjustments just to make it fit me, which is like totally normal for buying any piece of clothing or cosplay. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I was super excited for this costume. I was washing it every day on my little like tracking app. I think it's super cute. I also have the wigs. So I'm hoping I'll be able to do a photo shoot in the next week or two. The weather's getting a lot nicer out, so I'm hoping um, I could do it somewhere cool, like a beach or something. So yeah, I'll see you guys next week. I hope you enjoyed. Bye!